All right, so I wanted to record this video to show how to get data out of Airtable. And I'm really just gonna be talking you through some of the steps that I usually take to get Airtable out and show you some of the easiest ways within it just to get like a CSV out. So I'll just start there. And the easiest way to get Airtable out of, to get data out of Airtable is to use this download CSV. When you click download CSV, it's just gonna download a quick CSV of this table and it's gonna download it wherever you choose to have it downloaded and you can have your data there. You can export it elsewhere and deal with it there. Deal with it there. As you get more advanced with your capabilities, you might wanna be like importing or exporting stuff into Google Sheets or many softwares that like connect with an API. And that's where you're gonna to want to use like an external automation or one of Airtable's internal automations that connects with an external application and use some of those triggers and actions to set it up so you don't have to be in the process at all. And again, there's a bunch of tutorials on my YouTube channel with, about that and I also help a lot of people build those, but that's a very common and popular way. So I encourage you to go learn about Airtable automations. That way you can have data be moving in and moving out of your database without you doing anything. So that's the easiest way to get data out of Airtable. And now this next video is gonna be how to get data into Airtable.